our topic of the day are lychees and loquat. So yeah. here is our Tanbei Hipa loquat cocktail with gin. Mm -hmm. oh, very here. summery. Oh, there you oh, go. Oh, that's better. See? That's better. There you go. Okay. It's so hot in Taiwan, and the one thing you want is something cold and refreshing. Mm hmm It's so refreshing. Delicious. Yummy. Hi everyone, it's Jason and welcome to Jason's Table Fruit Lab where we're taking a closer look at some of the amazing fruits of Taiwan. First, let me introduce my guest for today, Jackie. Hey, hi, Jackie. Hi, Jason. Hey. Hey. hey, everybody. Thanks so, Jackie, for we have some amazing fruits today, mm -hmm. and the two fruits that we're looking at, it, it's a duet. It's a duet of fruits Yum. that can be peeled with your hands mm -hmm. and have seeds in them. So, our topic of the day are lychees and loquats. Yay! So let me introduce the lychee in mm -hmm. Chinese, li zhi. This is one of the star fruits, tropical fruits of Taiwan. Yes. Um, it has a 200 year history in Taiwan mm -hmm. and wow. is one of the main production zones in the entire world where it's exported from. I did not know that. This one, mm -hmm. English name loquat, in Chinese it's called pipa. Yes. So uh, pipa coming from the name for a Chinese traditional instrument. Like a pear-shaped instrument with uh, frets on it and strings that people used to play, so they called it wow. a pipa. But I have a question for you, Jackie. In Chinese traditional lore, uh -huh. which one of these fruits is known as the concubine smile? Is it A, the lychee, uh -huh. or B, the loquat? I, I, I'm i gonna go with lychee. I think something about the lychee makes me smile. Because <laughs> they're tasty. Like, it's sweet. Yeah, like when I eat it, you're very happy. Okay. It, it, to me, it's a happy fruit okay. because it's summer fruit. I mean, I would agree. It's, it's yeah. Am I, I'm wrong? Well, let's take a look. So <laughs> is Jackie correct? The concubine smile fruit is known as is the lychee. Is she correct? Yes, you are. Yay! So the name Concubine Smile actually comes from the story of Yang Guifei, who was a historical figure in Chinese history. During mm -hmm. the Tang Dynasty, she was known as the most beautiful woman in Ooh, the world. Okay. Now, she was known for kind of having like a sour kind of disposition, didn't mm -hmm. smile much, but this is one fruit that made her smile. So the emperor would send people to on horseback to, from the southern parts of China all the way into the Imperial Forbidden wow, City on horseback. This. In one day, they sh thousands of miles brought this fruit to her and that's the one that would make her smile. So wow. Imperial concubine fruit, that's the lychee. Lychees mm -hmm. are a um, short season fruit. So their season typically runs from April to August and there are usually uh, five main varieties that are grown in Taiwan. Now the other thing is they take about 80 to over 100 days to ripen, mm -hmm. but we are just in time for an amazing, my favorite one, which is called the yu he bao, yu, meaning jade. Okay. He bao, uh, just like purse or pouch. Yeah. Uh, this is one that's known for um, super high aromatic compounds. Uh, mm -hmm. The sugar content's high, and oh, no. the, the amazing <laughs> thing is um, the inside, the pit, you uh -huh. see. Uh, the pit is actually quite small. Okay, so, so more you're, meat. You're getting a lot more, of bang for your meat, buck. Yes. yes. Ah, okay. The other interesting thing is once lychees have been refrigerated, the outside will turn black, but that mm -hmm. doesn't necessarily mean the fruit is not good. Oh. So okay. I think it's a little tricky. If you can buy anything that is just not dried out looking, mm -hmm. I think that's going to be your best oh, bet. Oh, okay. There's a line in the in the shell out mm -hmm. here. Yes. Um, you can get right in there. Yeah. And the pretty... thing I've always loved about lychees, it's so. Juicy. I don't know. There's mm -hmm. something really cool about peeling this open and then finding and then the finding treasure the whole inside. Thing. It's like there a big, big white jade heart, okay. like you said. And uh, interestingly enough, the fruit part that we're eating is called the aril, A-R-I-L, uh, and then it encloses the seeds. So, okay. okay. Can I go in? Mm -hmm. Not so mm. good. It has a, a really light and refreshing sweetness, but also a tartness to it that doesn't override the mm -hmm. sweetness, right? Yeah. It's yummy. It's mm. very yummy. Mm. Almost like a firm jelly, kind mm -hmm. of jello y. Mm -hmm. uh, but there's that sweetness, there's a little bit of, I don't know, it's just a very perfumey flavor. And when you bite into the meat, it kind of has burst. Yeah, yeah, like a burst thing in there. So there we have our lychee. 
Mm -hmm. All right, let's try the loquat. Yay! So the loquat is a spring season fruit. It's mm -hmm. typically um, seen in Taiwan from March to April. It's an evergreen tree. It mm -hmm. doesn't grow too tall, but highly, highly ornamental. And the prime production areas for loquat in Taiwan yeah. are in uh, Taizong and Nantou. The fruit is often processed into many things because the mm -hmm. season is short. It has a high pectin content, so it's great for making jams and jellies. So uh, loquat, you would pinch off the The skin tip. is a lot harder to peel. Yeah, you can this. peel it like thin. this. Some people use a How spoon. How did you do that? And then you just uh, pull the skin down. I mean, okay. you get a little bit more kind of juice right. escaping, but you right. can also use the spoon to help you peel. That's interesting. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, that comes out so much easier. All right, let's taste test. Okay. Cheers. Okay. Cheers. Do I just bite into this? Um, there are seeds on the side, yeah. but um, they're, they're quite large. There's many seeds. Yeah. I would oh. say if you imagine it being... Dill. That's what oh, it is. Oh, really? Do you taste dill? I taste kind like of herbaceousness a, dill. a little yeah. bit. Yeah, that's what it is. So, now that we've tasted some of these, mm -hmm. and question for you. Yes. And you probably know this answer, but which of these two fruits is known for causing nosebleeds if you eat too many? Oh. Is it A, the lychee? Yeah. Or B, the loquat? I'm gonna go with the lychee because of what I was saying, like the sanghuo in Chinese. And I, I, like I said, I'd never heard of this before when I was living in the U.S. Okay. But when I came to Taiwan and there was plentiful Fruits. lychee, yeah, yeah, I would just like eat like a bunch, like a whole bunch. And my friend would be like, no, you're gonna break out, you're gonna yeah. zit, and it was yeah. sanghuo. And I was like, what are you talking about? I don't know if it's now because it's mentally you told me that okay. whenever I eat it I get this, but I mean that's why I'm at. Is it is that legit? Is okay. that so? Is Jackie correct? The fruit that you eat too much of will give you nosebleeds. Is the lychee? Yes, she's correct for sure. Woo! My prize is the lychee can go home with now, me. <laughs> now, I don't know if we should be clapping about eating so much of this to get a nosebleed, but <laughs> traditional Chinese medicine, certain mm -hmm. foods create inner heat inside the body. So okay. this is one of those sanghuo things, and um, as a result, it creates imbalances in the body. And mm -hmm. don't eat these with cherries as well. Cherries are known as increasing heat in the body. Mango. Um, you will have incidences of eating too much of these can lead to um, higher chance of nosebleeds. The other thing is doctors have recommended and scientists say that you should not eat lychees on an empty stomach. Oh. Why? Because there are certain compounds in the fruit uh -huh. that cause some metabolic disruption. So it can actually trigger uh, hypoglycemia, which is low blood sugar. No Which way. is kind of okay. weird, right. Okay. Uh, that compound is even more present inside the pits. Mm -hmm. of the lychee, so uh, recommended is don't you don't eat, eat lychees on empty stomach and certainly don't eat the pit. That's good to know. Jackie, there are some very interesting products made from loquats in Taiwan. Really? This is what is known as chuanbei pipa gao. Chuanbei pipa. It's traditional medicine made from the loquat. Mm -hmm. um, the chuanbei pipa syrup yes. has which health benefit? Is oh. it A, for uh, improving your eyes? eyesight situation or eye allergies, or mm -hmm. is it B for um, coughs and respiratory type things? B, it's for your throat. So I remember growing up, whenever we had a cough or a sore throat, we had to take a big spoon of this okay. and just like hold it in your mouth and kind of like coat your throat with it. So is Jackie correct? Yes. 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 <laughs> so in fact, the compounds in the uh, loquat are great for helping the respiratory tract and muc mucosal membrane, so just keeping things moist. The so, fruit itself? Yeah, the fruit oh, okay, itself. So okay. it is, in fact, uh, a known um, useful agent for when you have colds and respiratory type things. So that's okay. Oh, that's good. Too. Now, the interesting thing is we like to multi purpose yes. certain foods and things like that. So apparently, Tanbei Pipa syrup has now become a super fancy uh, cocktail mixer. <laughs> in the U.S. for people trying to experiment with unique foods. So. That's, that sounds interesting. I've actually never tried this. I'm going to take a quick taste yes. test. Yes. You, you said, you mentioned earlier you were a singer. You sing? Mm -hmm. There you go. Kind of like a menthol -y taste to it. Yes, there's like a, mm. a minty flavor in there, right? All right, time for a cocktail. Oh, uh, this is definitely an experiment. So in our cocktail shaker, we're gonna put some ice. Okay. And we are gonna put some gin. Gin, okay, gin. that's a lot of gin. <laughs> we're gonna make a cocktail. And then uh, this is the chuanbei. Pipa gao. Pipa gao okay. syrup, okay. So let's, let's get that in there. Let's put a tablespoon of that, all right. 
And, and we've got, got a little lime. a little lime peel, get in there. Water tonic. And we've got some tonic water. There we go. So I'm gonna shake this up and we're gonna taste test and see, <laughs> is this the next hottest your, thing? Your ratio of gin to water. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna be so plastered. Yeah. All right, so here we go. In. Oh, okay. That's go a on. pretty color. All right, Great. so apparently this is the next best thing. So it's happy happening. hour for oh, us happy right hour now. Here Cheers. At the fruit lab. Cheers. Cheers. Let's try this out. Mm. Mm. It's very refreshing. Slightly sweet. It does, I, I don't know, I'd drink this. I would drink this. I, I would add a little more, I think a little more lime in there. A little bit more lime? Yeah, let's squeeze okay, some lime in there this. maybe. Okay. But the color is definitely super pretty. There you go. Yes, okay. I love the color. Very Here. summery. Oh, there you oh, go. That's better. See? That's better. There you go. I'm not I'm the uh, so, professional. So, so, Jackie, you're going to come back for all, anything with beverages, all right? Cheers. So, all right, so Cheers. here is our Tunbei Pipa Loquat cocktail with gin. Mm -hmm. um, new discovery. Very exciting. Yay. Now, uh, I hear that you brought some maybe interesting products I that did. have some of these fruits. I did. I did. I have a couple okay. of gifts for you. Okay. Are well, you let's, ready? let's take a look. <laughs> So these are three very special treats in Taiwan that are, you know, again, are, are like a summer right. special for, for everybody. So, so what's this the one? The first one is a sweet os mantis, yes. which is Kuei the Hua. Kuei Hua yeah. with the lychee and some ice, shaved ice. And shaved ice. Because it's mm. so hot in Taiwan and the one thing you want is something cold and refreshing. Mm -hmm. It's so refreshing. Can you imagine mm. if you've been walking around shopping and it's really hot? And all you want to do is some, get something light and refreshing. You sit down, they freshly shave a mm. bowl of ice and throw some fresh fruits on there. Mm. Right? Delicious. Yummy. All right. Um, what's next? Next we will have is the loqua tremella. White fungus and it's in a lily soup. Um, I love all these kind of mushroomy things. And it's kind of strange to uh, Westerners. <laughs> it is. It's a mushroom, but it's in a sweet preparation. I think mushroom is definitely a better word than fungus. <laughs> mm. But yeah, right? It, it, it has a great texture to it. It's crunchy. There's no specific flavor to mm -hmm. the fungus, but I think with the low pot, low it adds a nice, a nice sweet flavor. Mm. Mm. Wow. That's really good. And that little bit That's of really extra good. sweetener in there actually helps bring out the flavor of the low quat, which is very mild, mm -hmm. um, but there's still kind of hints of that. So the last Jackie. one. <laughs> Do you I, know this? I, I, these are familiar to me. Okay. So a lot of people, when they try to eat this, they suck it, they suck go, it. and then suck <laughs> it. Oh. And then they're like, <laughs> oh, that was jello. Yeah. yeah. <coughs> Sorry. Oh. Lychee is a, a is a very clear, yeah. kind of white, opaqueish color. It's the same color it's as beautiful. it. Beautiful. And this one is nicely, delicately mm. jiggly. Mm -hmm. um, the ones in the little cups are a little bit firmer. firmer. And the interesting thing is because that. they use um, konyaku, which yes. is a type of starch, which mm -hmm. is very bouncy and doesn't really melt with heat. So, yeah, uh, so gelatin will be these slightly out. softer, but this is delicious summer treat. Yeah, you can um, keep them out and they won't change the texture at all. Mm. But they're best when they're in the fridge and they're really ice, like mm. cold, right? Mm. Mm. Well, Jackie, Yummy. I really want to thank you for coming to the Fruit mm, Lab, where we took a me. look at the loquat mm -hmm. and also the lychee fruit. Yes, I definitely did learn a lot more about the loquat, so thank you very much for having so, me. So this is Jason and Jackie here at Jason's Table Fruit Lab. We will see you next time. Bye! Bye. <laughs>